everyone. Can everybody hear me? Are we losing Prof. Joy here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So he must have an um, internet connection problem. Hang on, okay, guys, I'm getting from Joy. Okay. Hello, people. Can you all hear me? Yes. Not. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Do you know, I had a long conversation with you just now. I don't know if you heard any of it. Then I realized I had not, I not, had not unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder that the fire sherry was not even responding to me when I asked him. <laughs> and also, Dr. Hanis Ahmad, very unfriendly, I was thinking. Then I realized my uh, screen, my, I was on mute. 
<laughs> okay, I got disconnected just now. So now uh, let's try sharing. Eh? Fasha, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah let's try sharing again. We got to do this, people. <laughs> we got to make this happen. Uh, okay, principles of ecology. Okay, now I can't see. Okay. okay. All right, it's there. All right. Is there, uh, but it's, is it? Right. All right. But uh, can, when I go to the next slide, yeah. Can you see this, Fasha? Can, Prof. Uh, I'm going to the second slide. Can you all see? Please not if you can, yeah? Yes, I can see. Okay, great. So, uh, this is the definition of ecology, yeah, uh, and uh, it's essentially an academic discipline which uh, where there's a two, it talks about a two-way relationship, huh? so it's all about the process. Huh? Eco environment is static. But ecology is got is very dynamic and is about interactions. Huh? So this is something that uh, you need to be uh, sensitive to in terms of what is the difference. So of course it originates from the meaning of the word the house and the study here. Yeah? And uh, human ecology is a discipline where the relationships are of central concern. Huh? And in terms of organization. Uh, we have the individual, then we have the population, and then greater where it's organisms of the same species. Community represents uh, several populations, and then a higher hierarchy of uh, ecosystem plus the physical component, and then the biosphere, which is all the ecosystems on Earth. So it's actually uh, going uh, uh, bigger and bigger. So these are very fixed definitions in the field of uh, ecology. Now you have this uh, delicate balance, huh? because it's all about relationships. Balance becomes important. And... Uh, in terms of the balance, you have the components. What that is supposed to be balanced is about the physical component, temperature, water balance, about the light. Eh? These are the types of components where you see balance are uh, playing out. Eh? And in terms of the populations, you have the properties of the populations. It's this is how you would describe a population. Eh? When you're using the, the, the uh, doing ecology, there are terms that you adhere to, and like patterns means distribution and density. There's interspecies uh, competition, population dynamics, growth and regulation, then how population growth is uh, altered, and then the human impact. So if you see here, this is what we have on the left, eh, or against time, population size, against time, and then the growth rate. So um, the logistics uh, in terms of uh, what, what differentiates eh, and the, the uh, growth of a population in this particular case. Eh? It's about uh, there will be a carrying capacity on the environment. And then that generally the the rate would slow down. And this is the natural case. Eh? There will be balance. And then there's always, even in a species, there will be a rate where the population balances out, whether it's an animal species or a plant species. Eh? Then the rate will, uh, will slow down. And this is the natural hierarchy of things except for humans, eh? humans and the environment that we create. Eh? So we tend to exceed. And when we interact with uh, humans, interact with different types of species, uh, then we also cause this carrying capacity to be increased. Eh? Like, for example, uh, uh, when humans uh, say we have a uh, growth of sheep and lamb, where we cultivate things like in New Zealand and the Pampas, where we actually 
uh, cultivate animals. Now the methane emission is much higher because humans have allowed that to happen. Whereas if it were a natural thing, you won't have that many uh, sheep and 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 horse uh, and and cows uh, uh, for that uh, that would exceed the carrying capacity. So this is the natural. So any thoughts on population growth? Can I hear from you? Uh, what do you think about population growth? Can anybody volunteer a thought? Doctors, can you all hear me? Yeah, can one of you volunteer a thought on what is your thought on population growth at the moment in the world? Can you all hear me? Dr. Fasha, can you hear me? Can, bro. Ah. Can one of the doctors respond? What is your view on population growth? Let me assure you there is no wrong answer in this room. They are just different viewpoints. Eh? Yeah, come on. Let's break the ice. What do you think about population growth? Who, who thinks that there are too many people in the world today? Yes. Yes. <laughs> why, why, why do you say there are so many, too many people? How, how can we manage this? Do you think that we, are going to ex we have exceeded our carrying capacity for the environment? Mm, not yet. Not yet. Huh? So that means technology can help to fix that. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Okay, great. Okay. So uh, the, that, that, that is a major concern. Eh? It used to be, I don't know if you know, people used to, the West always say there's too much population growth and blame India and China for it. But the, the reality is that our population is under control and it is going to taper off. Eh? And that's uh, primarily because we are managing it uh, well. Eh? There's a lot of reproductive health guidance and such. Okay, so we are moving towards the uh, towards managing population growth, and people are more concerned about quality of life rather than uh, quantity. Yeah. So now, environmental health uh, model is. Uh, have you all heard of a uh, environmental health model? Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, the model is essentially, I, I, I'm not sure if you hear, you have studied this before, but in terms of environmental health, it's essentially where uh, a model that is very old, it's about, again, balance that threatens human life, uh, uh, it's about balance and the, in this particular model, uh, there is this notion that you, uh, environmental health is a, is, is, uh, is a function of the lifestyle, it's a function of the surrounding environment, it's a function of the medical services that you have, and it's also a function of the heredity uh, component, where you come from, your genetics. Huh? So we are going to focus on this environmental component. And uh, we're going to focus on this uh, through examples that Dr. Rosita has nicely provided, huh? how these uh, disruptions can occur. So if you look at the human population, just now people said that uh, we have, uh, ex you know, there are too many of us, huh? in terms of billions and uh, we are moving on. And you look at our history as humanity, you see that we have gone through a black death period, yeah, which is, uh, which is far worse than I think than the current COVID because when you take the ratio of the population, eh, yes, in our lifetime, we have never seen so much of death before, but then the population itself is very big. So I'm talk speaking in terms of ratio of population. Eh? So in, if you just look at the perspective of ratio of population, then the Black Death probably had a higher, due to the bubonic plague, eh? it had a higher death. 
And then the Industrial Revolution started and technology allowed us to have this population growth. But there is great expectation that the number of people will actually uh, taper off. Eh? So this uh, brings us actually to what is this study of ecosystem? Why is it uh, uh, important? Eh? So an ecosystem is essentially this basic functional unit and ecology, and it's a self-sustainable uh, uh, unit, and it encompasses not only us as humans and the, bi and the biotic elements in a locality, but it also encompasses us in our interaction. Remember, it's about process, eh? our interaction with the environment and how we influence one another. Okay, so we have this earth as an ecosystem. There is one place only that we can all survive and that's called earth. Eh? There's no, until we find another a planet, this is the home that we have. Eh? So that's the important message that you, you need to take away from this class. We only have that one earth and we all need to uh, interact within it and be respectful of the uh, natural processes around us. Eh? So we have terrestrial ecosystems with our tropical rain, our forests, our mangrove swamp, aquatic ecosystems like the river, the lake, eh? the coral leaf, aqua meaning water, then man-made ecosystems such as uh, this land, uh, agriculture, aquaculture, yeah, aquaculture is farm is not natural. Okay, so this is the highest level of ecosystem. It's complex, it's comprehensive. Huh? And this is a very nice uh, picture of the Nile, so a rest moment for your eye, uh, the Nile and the Amazon River. Yeah, without the forest fires uh, and the black areas to block it out. Yeah, and then you have our tropical forests the pine forest, the temperate forest, the mangrove forest. So these are all ecosystems that are very established, very old, older than humanity, yeah? very much older than humanity. So they, we, they, they were here before the humans arrived. So this is the aquaculture component, yeah? And the abiotic is, uh, you have this organic compounds, which is like the carboprotein lipids, then you have your inorganic compound, which is your single molecular carbons, your nitrogens, your oxygens, your carbon dioxide, yeah? and your water, yeah, your simple H2O. And of course, you have the weather, which is your temperature, humidity, wind, soil, and air. So those are the uh, the factors that uh, of the within the abiotic component. These are very highly influencing aspects and components in the biotic regime. You have what you call your autotrophic organisms, huh? which undergoes pho photosynthesis. So any thought on what this example? What do you have as an example? Can somebody just shout it out? An example of a, what is a uh, autotrophic organism? Yeah. Uh, and just think. What what's an auto? It's a it's got photosynthesis. So. Plants. Plants. Yes, exactly. Plants. Uh, uh, the plants are an example. Uh, what else apart from plants? Alga. Yeah, very good. Okay, what else? What else? Bacteria. Uh, bacteria. Okay, uh, now they, the nature of an autotrophic organism that is that they can make their own food. They are self-sustaining. Is a bacteria self-sustaining? No. Uh, uh, so uh, well, this is a good uh, point. Uh, a bacteria. So normally it's like plankton. Uh, okay. Coming back to bacteria, they are like we have this other group, heterotrophic organisms and huh? the heterotrophs are what do you think the examples are yeah 
let's have an example. Um, one of you, please. What's an example of a heterotroph? Yeah. Organism. Yeah, they don't make their human. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So what else is there apart from humans? Human animals. Animal. Yeah, animals. Yeah. Yeah, and I think bacteria, that's a good point. Eh? You can check that up. Eh? Somebody check that up. I think they are heterotrophs eh? because they are, don't have the capacity for making their own food. They serve, uh, and uh, viruses, they all need to look at them. Uh, they, they need things to survive. Kan? So, so this is the example of a food chain. Let's see if we can uh, uh, unravel this huh? in terms of the producer, the consumer, uh, the, from the grass to the grasshopper, to the snake, to the hawk, to the fungi. Okay? Uh, fungi is actually uh, a heterotroph huh? in this, in this uh, because they make their own food. They decompose. Huh? They can survive on the... Uh, without uh, this one, they decompose the food. So looking at the soil, yeah, we have this organic matter, which is the first level. These are levels, uh, the hierarchy in the ecosystem. Uh. Like humans, we have our own little hierarchy, depending on which country you are. Okay? The super rich, the ro royalty in our country, followed by number two. I think the politicians are close, number two, <laughs> followed by the uh, probably the high-ranking civil servants and the rich people, and then the rest of us. Uh. <laughs> so this is the hierarchy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so in the ecosystem, you start from the food, the ones who make the fo uh, food, and then the ones who decompose. Ah, bacteria is a decomposer. Look, look here. Ah, they, they decompose. Yeah. So they are actually a hetero. Uh, looks like they are autotrophs. Huh? They and pet. Uh, but, but you cannot. You can't sit. Yeah, bacteria decompose. They are autotrophs. Huh? So they decompose and they are in the same league as the fungi. Yeah? And then, of course, then you have your others, protozoa and all that. And then you have humans right up there at the end here. But in, the, in reality, in the politics of things, humans are right on top and we tend to forget about the plants, right? <laughs> when you think about it. <laughs> so we are actually going against the grain of nature here, the very, our very mode of operations. And here is the water cycle, huh? ice and snow on the one end with the groundwater discharge huh? going down into these oceans and all these little processes that you have about streams coming up and then evaporation. So any kind of disruption to this uh, will actually affect us in a, in a big scale. Huh? And then looking at the carbon cycle, so we have our trees decaying, it goes and then we have fossil fuel and then we use it and then we emit, okay? We emit and the carbon dioxide goes in and of course the animals are, rest, uh, they, they also breathe, the plant also breathe, breathes. So we have so much of carbon dioxide in the air, but here we are, can you all see the arrow? Uh, can you all see my arrow, my uh, the arrow of my this one? It's on the right. Uh, you have your emission, yeah. Too much of emission, uh, over over the past two hundred years of industrialization, we have had too much of emission, and and we have disrupted the cycle. Uh, so you'll see more details. Uh, you will see more details on that. We have disrupted the cycle, and now we are going through repercussion. Here is the sulfur cycle, huh? the sulfur cycle. Uh, this is the almost the, the end of the, the slide. Huh? So uh, here you have your uh, solution, huh? minerals, leaching happening from here, yeah, where every sulfur goes into solution and leaches out, then becomes a mineral, then there's organic that you put it into the, uh, through the food. The, and then you also have sulfur going in as part of the fertilization process, yeah, and also a whole lot of, of emitting here. So sulfur, is there's too much sulfur in the air right now, and uh, this is causing 
pollution in our cities. Eh? So uh, it has been shown that two papers recently came out that connected sulfur uh, as uh, air pollution has been shown to actually uh, cause increase in lung cancer. And then as a result of the lung cancer, our economic product productivity is expected to reduce. Okay, overall, it's going to affect the, this is, they call the nexus of pollution, health, and economy. So we have made that connection for the all 10 Southeast Asian countries. So we need to take a stand and decide what to do because this like carbon dioxide, you talk about carbon dioxide, you talk about global warming. People may say, ah, what is the, I only emit little bit, but what is the benefit of reducing? But here, if you were to reduce all of this, you get better health for yourself, you better get better health outcomes for your children, especially if you're in cities. Huh? So that's one aspect. So uh, Dr. Rosita prepared all these slides. Huh? So you can rest assured that this is the level of uh, in information that she expects you all to have in terms of, uh, of uh, what you need for this course. So I want to just acknowledge Dr. Rosita for uh, producing the slides. I'm thinking that we should have a 10 minute conversation so you can ask things. Um, yeah. Okay, hopefully I can. So there's, I see a lot more people now still the same nine, but it seems to be changing. So what are your thoughts on this uh, ecosystems and all that was, what uh, was it difficult? To understand, was it? Is this your first class on environmental health? Can this was your first class? Yes. Uh, how have you? How are you feeling? Like, oh my God, why did I even come to do this masters? <laughs> is that where we are right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, half of you thinking, oh God, what was I thinking when I filled up that form? <laughs> so, so tell me how how difficult it is. <laughs> like like biological class again. Oh yes, biology 101. Huh? <laughs> Except this is possibly fourth year biology. Yes, fourth year biology. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a refresher for all of you. Yeah? I'm going to take it as a refresher. <laughs> but this technology is killing me, I tell you. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing half the time or whether you can see the slides. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you can, uh, yeah, any uh, qu queries on that first? That was the easiest bit, by the way. <laughs> In case you're wondering if it's going to get worse, it's going to get worse and a whole lot faster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll go to the next batch and then any, uh, we actually have until four o'clock. So uh, if there are, you know, I think this next batch of slides, uh, Dr. Rosita has given great thought to preparing the slides, which is what I noticed. It gets a little bit deeper. It gives you better examples as well. Huh? So let's, uh, okay, let's see if this works. Oh, Dr. Fasha, uh, how hide share options? No, that's not what I want to do, right? Uh, you, can you see the slides still or, or, or? It's the first, still the first still. slide. How about now? Uh, still no, the first. Still the first. Maybe okay. you, I have maybe, to unshare. Yes, unshare and minimize the first slide. Unshare. Hide share options. Share content. Okay. What has happened? Okay, uh, being left up. Okay, I uh, maybe I minimized 